All right, welcome back guys. In this video, I wanna start talking about shearing strain. So shearing strain can be represented with this expression, where for any cross section that we want to consider inside of this member under torsion, um, rho here is going to be our distance from, uh, our, our radial distance out from the axis of the shaft. So if we're looking at the face here, uh, it would be, for example, however far we want to go. We don't necessarily have to go all the way. Uh, to the surface of the rod, to the outer surface, but if we do, then we when then we call that C. Um, but you know, we could go a third of the way, or two thirds of the way, or half of the way, or whatever. And that distance in meters is rho. We also have the angle of twist here in units of radians, and then we divide by the length uh, to that cross section that we're looking at. Um, so if it's uh, if we're going to the very end like this, uh, then we'd be dividing by the length here of 0 0.5 meters in this case. And uh, then those units, when we divide them out, gives us our shearing strain here of gamma in, uh, in units of radians. So you'll see that there's a linear relationship between uh, shearing strain and uh, the radial distance that we go out from the axis of the shaft here. And also there's a linear relationship to the angle of twist. And uh, for any given length L, we'll have a certain angle of twist, but this means that for that relationship between the distance traveled outwards radially from the axis, that our max shearing strain is going to occur when we have a maximum distance out from the radius, which is uh, when rho equals c. And again, c just being uh, the maximum distance that we can have from, uh, from the axis there to the surface. All right, so if we want to start calculating for shearing strains, then we're going to need the angle of twist. And we did this exact same problem in the pre one of the previous videos. And so the angle of twist, we'll just skip through the equations here. So the angle of twist was 0 0.0255 radians. So if we want to figure out what the shearing strain is at a distance that is, let's say, uh, 10 millimeters away from the center, so one third of the way out to the, the edge of the rod here, then we'll have our shearing strain is just going to be equal to the distance that we're, the distance away from the center that we're concerned about times the angle of twist divided by that length. So we're going to get 0 0.01 meters times the 0 0.0255 radians. And over that length there to, uh, let's say we're looking at the surface here, which we are for that angle of twist, so divided by 0 0.5 meters. And when we punch that in the calculator, we just get the shearing strain is equal to 0 0.0051 radians and uh, that is if you go out anywhere that radially out uh, 10 millimeters from the center then that's the shearing strain that we're going to be getting if we wanted to take the shearing strain so we can even put a little sub here like 10 millimeters if we wanted to take the shearing strain let's say two-thirds of the way out so uh, 20 millimeters we're going to be uh, using the exact same formula we have rho times the, the angle of twist over L so for for this part, we're going to have 0 0.02 meters times all that same stuff, 0 0.255 radians. And uh, we'll divide that again by L because we're looking at the same section here with that given angle of twist. And when you punch that in your calculator, you just get 0 0.00102 radians. Now if we look and, uh, and we want to figure out what the shearing strain is right at the surface, so 30 millimeters away, we're going to be getting, uh, this is actually going to be our max because we're taking our rho to be C, and C is just the, the max uh, radius there, so we have C times angle of twist over L, and when we drop that in we get 0 0.03 meters times the angle of twist, uh, that was radians, and uh, over 0 0.5 meters uh, and we're going to be seeing that that is equal to 0 0.00153 radians. So what you should be seeing now is that there's this linear relationship uh, in shearing stress that correlates to our radial distance from the axis of the shaft. So where we where we doubled our our radial distance here from 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 meters, the uh, the shearing strain also doubled. And here where we tripled it from 0 0.01 to 0 0.03, we tripled the uh, the shearing strain.
So the last thing that uh, that really comes of that is that there's an expression that we can that we can use uh, that is the sharing strain uh, is equal to so the sharing strain on any cross sectional surface is equal to rho divided by c times the max shearing strain. So you might be able to figure out what the max shearing strain is, and then we can use that. So we have that right here, actually. This is the max shearing strain. Then we can use that to just plug in to find out what the shearing strain would be at any distance from, from the axis here. So let's just take a random distance. Let's say something like, uh, let's go uh, 23 millimeters away from the center. So we'd plug that in here as rho, so 0 0.023 meters over a distance uh, over C here, which was 0 0.030 0 meters. And then we'd multiply that by our, our max shearing strain, which is 0 0.00153 radians. And when you crunch that, you're gonna see that we're gonna get 0 0.001173 radians. Uh, uh, that is the shearing strain at a distance of uh, 23 millimeters out from that axis. And we could just plug in any distance that's between 0 and C, and, uh, and we can figure it out using this expression.